Welcome back to the Hawks cast. This is the final episode, and I am your final host, Bretlin Johns, and I'm here with Emma Cloak and Mr. Swanson. Finally. 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 Yeah. Thank you. We're here to talk about college, specifically IUP. Okay, that's why I wore the shirt. Yeah, nice shirt, Mr. Swanson. Thank you, Bretlin. I didn't wear a shirt. I didn't. I didn't know there was a memo to wear the um, outfit. Well, Mr. Swanson's the only one that has an IUP shirt on right now. I know, that's... Okay, Swanson. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) It's it's all good. I'll be the oddball out. Um, So... Where's your IU pride, girls? I know. Um... (laughs) It's actually National Top Gun Day, so I have my Top Gun shirt on. Mm. So. Okay, that's good. So, Mr. College. Swanson, you went to IUP. Yes. What'd you go for? Well. <laughs> we'll be here a while. I started out music education. Well, first of all, in my senior year book, my future plan, according to my senior year book, is to go to WVU for archaeology. I ended up at IUP for music education. That lasted all of a matter of weeks. Then I was anthropology, and I was anthropology for most of my freshman year, and then I switched to theater as a major, and my parents told me um, they didn't want me to do that solely, so I double majored in theater and comm media. Then I dropped theater to a minor, even though I was close to finishing a double major because I didn't want to do more than four years, and I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in communications media, theater and minor, and they didn't have it at the time, but I also would have had enough credits in class track and what would eventually become a film studies minor track in the <laughs> English department. That's the undergrad. Do you want the rest or just... Keep going. Keep okay. going. I mean, we're here. Oh, yeah, we're here, right? Yeah. For the final episode. For the episode. final episode. I hope, I hope one day I can be... Finally. Finally done with your <laughs> <laughs> education <laughs> history. No, just kidding. Go ahead. All right, so speeding it up... Um, Went to Clarion for grad school. I had a half assistantship. I taught TV production to college freshmen, and then IUP offered me a full assistantship. So I went back. I got my master's in adult education and communication technology, which is basically just training and development of media applications. I took the money for that to pay for film school in Pittsburgh, and then, and then, and then, um, I went back uh, to IUP and got a second master's in English education. That's kind of crazy. And here we are today. Yes. And I'm finally here. Yes, we're yes. finally over yes. with that part. <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> so you're going for that, Bretlin. Well, like not all that. No, not all that. Just like the communication. Com media. The yeah, part. communications, media, media Half production. Half of the beginning part. Yeah. Very exciting. Not the th- theater. 17 other things. Yeah. I'm yes, also I'm going to IUP. What are you going for, Emma? What am I going for? (laughs) Thanks for asking. I'm going for biology education with a minor in chem, and I will be certified, like when I graduate, I'll be certified to teach biology and chemistry. That is cool. Swag. So I'll be a huge brain, just massive, full of all this knowledge that probably no one will ever want to learn about. (laughs) And I'll have like, I don't know, so I won't, I want to be like a high school biology or chemistry teacher. That's like the end all be all of my you know, collegeness, but it's like nervous. I don't know. I'm nervous about it. You're nervous too. Yeah, actually very nervous. I'm actually very nervous for you. No, you you girls are going to do fine. (laughs) How do you know that? Because you're both bright and capable and life have a little bit of common sense. Like, and uh, all right, so this is the thing. I know Brelton made a comment about it this morning because she comes down during my first period of English sometimes, and she was giving me a hard time for giving my senior English class blue books at the end of the year. <laughs> I was joking. And, uh, but no, I, and I, I do it because, you know, it's, it's the lower CP, but it's still considered CP. Mm-hmm. And as a result, there's a handful of kids in my English classes that are college bound. And Mrs. Kidder has like the traditional mm-hmm. CP classes. Uh, so I always run it that way, uh, mostly for the kids that are college bound and also for the kids that aren't college bound so they get a little bit of a taste for it. But I've told them flat out, and I say it every year, every year, every year, and I'll say it again to you two right now, the trick to college is honestly self-discipline. Mm-hmm. Like, it really, it really is. And um, part of the reason I do that in my English classes as well is I don't think high school, and not just Armstrong, high school in general, I don't think 
high school in general does an adequate job in prepping kids for how college works. In terms of content, yes, you know, like mm -hmm. most high schools with a solid curriculum will give you the content you need in terms of curriculum or whatever, but um, what you are used to is literally turned upside down. Like in high school, it's our job to make sure your grades are Mm -hmm. where they're mm -hmm. supposed to be it's our job to kind of like nudge you pull you along you know like every year we're at the end of the year and every year there's always x amount of kids that you know teachers principals guidance whoever is like dragging over the finish line to get mm -hmm. them to graduate yeah. or to pass or whatever not me though yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah not, safe. not, not either safe, of you not, not either of you not so sure about our sign guy over there <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding um jk we love you <laughs> yes but um in in college it's literally the total opposite your professor will not care you know and it's not that they're bad people it's just it's it's on you whereas all the things that have been on everyone else through your high school experience is now solely on you yeah I'm kind of excited for that, though, I think. I'm, like, terrified, actually. No, I am, because I, like, I don't know. I think a lot of the time... I'm in different classes, so it's, like, I've never taken a film. I've never taken... Like, that kind of stuff. No hate to you guys. That stuff just doesn't interest me. Like, computers... Well, I'm, like, I'm done. I'm hurt. finally done with this But, like, I'm glad you, like, don't... I'm glad you don't take them when it doesn't interest you, because people take them, and then it's terrible for everyone else. And that's, like, kind of the point that I'm getting at, too, is with mine, is that people, like... Like, I had a couple, eight, like, I had three AP classes this year. Wow. And it was, like, almost, like, did I want to cry sometimes about my workload? Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I enjoy that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I enjoy, like, getting my work done. And I think that there's a lot of kids that, like, take these classes and they don't realize what they're signing up for. But with college, like, that's what it is. You have to sign up and pay for every single one of these classes. Well, in all honesty, like like you were just saying, and well, like Bretland was saying, that's kind of more a high school focused thing. But um, if you take an elective, you elected to take it, so you should have at least some kind of interest in it. Like mm -hmm. that's the point of an elective; you elect to take things that you think might interest you. Um, but I'll be honest with you: in college, um, my roommate had a higher GPA than I in high mm -hmm. school, and um, I got like a, I think three whatever it was, you know, mm -hmm. well under the three range my first semester, and he was two something mm -hmm. and the difference between us was and we went to high school we graduated together um he kind of went light or certainly lighter than me with yeah. the senior year classes so i can totally get when you're a senior in high school you want that easy schedule you know you want to enjoy your senior year whatever mm -hmm. whatever but you ultimately don't do yourself any favors like i took calculus i teach english i had no business taking calculus yeah. whatsoever <laughs> all right i took physics I teach English and TV. I had no business taking <laughs> physics <laughs> whatsoever. I took AP Bio. I wasn't gone for Bio. You know, I took yeah, um, yeah. the AP English History. I, did, I loaded myself. And I also fit in, like, the electives that I cared about, like mm -hmm. my music and newspaper and stuff like that. But um, honestly, Mr. Carter's AP Bio class my senior year, he ran it like a college course. And that's mm -hmm. why and how. Like, I learned how to take notes. And he didn't. And, you know, that's probably where I got my philosophy a little bit for how I run just the last quarter in my 12th grade English mm -hmm. class is just to give like a hint, you know, of, of what's actually coming. Yeah. That is what, um, like there's like the whole school thing is like a big part of like, of course, college and like taking these classes and figuring out like the flow of like classes and personal time and when you can do your work and like fitting all of that in. But like. The dorm is scary. Like I'm like scared to like live, <laughs> live there. by myself. Like, like well, I'm I'm honestly like so excited to live by myself. I like, am, I, but I'm like actually scared. I am honestly through the roof. I don't think I've ever been happier about something. But having to buy all my own cleaning supplies <laughs> and like and like know that I have to like feed myself, those kinds of things that are going to be kind of difficult. Like I have to grocery shop for myself and only myself. Wow, this podcast is making me a lot more nervous. I think. You'll be fine. You'll just well, like you, but no, you it. will do fine. And and truthfully, um, well, one, you girls, your dorm experience is going to be a lot different than what my dorm experience was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like in the last twenty years, things have changed a lot. Um, literally, our furniture was bolted to the floor in the wall. It did not move. <laughs> it was like crazy. a room smaller than this room, and there are two crazy. of us, two Ew. of us in there. I could not handle. Fun I could not function. I could not handle it. I'd be dropping out. <laughs> Communal bathroom. It, you know, no, there there are about no, probably are thirty to forty of us to a bathroom. No. Um, we are Bretland and I are very lucky because we are on the same floor. Uh -huh. Not roommates, because but we're on the same floor. 
and we have our own bathrooms. Like, Brelin has her own bathroom, and I have my own bathroom. Yeah. I don't even share with my roommate. Yeah, which is like, I have my own room uh, my own room and my own bathroom, and then we share, like, a living, living area. area. Yeah, me too. And, and I, I don't think I've ever, like, that is... Yeah, that you, is the best decision I've ever made to put like that little bit more money into my room and board. I think a lot more money well, actually. Like, well, whenever you like do the math, it's like okay, so how? M- I think that it's like if I really hate my roommate and I have to like clean the same toilet as them, and like what if they don't clean it, and then I always do like. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? It's like things like that that I just like don't even want to get. Like I cannot be confrontational. Well, if that I'm kind not if I'm not happy where I'm living, I'm not going to do well in college. So I just. Well, girls, we had when I was a communal bathroom, we had I, if I remember correctly, maybe ten shower stalls and maybe like ten toilet mm-hmm. stalls and a handful of urinals, and you walked from your room down, and um, yeah, like that meant a lot of. Naked walks for some guys. That's <laughs> what I'm doing from the That's bathroom. Crazy. You know, there was a kid I can't remember his name, but I swear he he always said I like to air dry. You know, and like oh. he would just go strutting down <laughs> after the shower. Now we were a guys only colleges. floor, except my freshman year there was a girl named Heather that somehow ended up on our wing. <laughs> one girl. On one a girl. Board. One girl guys? in a room. She had a single. It was just her. Oh. Like. Uh, see, so that's yeah. what happened to me. Like that would ha- that would be something that happens to me. Poor Heather. Yeah, poor Heather. Yeah, poor poor Heather. But that like that's how the honors college is. Mm-hmm. They it's all communal and that like makes me like want to cringe. Like I don't know if I could ever do Yuck. that. Yuck. I just, Yuck. Wow, that's like crazy. Cause well, that was like IUP and Pitt were like my two. Like I had to pick between them, and whenever I toured I, uh, Pitt, I was like, "This is terrible." <laughs> you have like your your freshman year, you live in the like the the pillars. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like there's three of them, and the they're donut shaped, and so the cer- center of all of them are bathrooms, and then the outsides are all like your living areas, and they're so small. Yuck! And it's in the city, and you and it's like you have to do the communal like walk to the bathroom. Like that's just is like that's terrible to me. And IP puts all this money into like. New dorms, new facilities, new bathrooms. Like, our dorm is, is like the new. newest one on campus. Yeah, and it's right beside the dining hall, or very close to the dining hall. Yeah. There's only one dorm left on campus. That is the style that one I lived in. I don't think they use it as a dorm anymore. Hmm. Um, I forget the Elk. It was Elk or Elkin, and it's on the back side of where they're building yeah, the new not. science building. What's ours? North Northern Northern yeah, Suites. Northern yeah, Suites. I think they converted that one into offices. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that whenever we were picking our housing, I don't think that was an option. There's like Delaney, yeah, and Pratt, Pratt, Sweets on Pratt. That's I where my sister that. stayed. My sister stayed at Sweets on Pratt. Yeah, um, but we're like right next to the dining. Yeah, hall. Yeah, we're right next to the dining hall, which I would. Whenever I was like picking my room, I was like, I have to be close to the dining hall because if I have to walk like half a campus to like go eat, I'm go not, eat, I like probably. But won't like eat. I have to walk half half a camp. Wow, half. Halfway across uh-huh. campus. Mm-hmm. It's a Words class. are hard. That's different. Yeah, I mean, but no, when, for I, me, when like I toured, my, they were yeah. like, it's like a 15-minute walk. But I'm, like, not late usually, so I'll be. I will. I think that my biggest good. thing, well, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Like, personal, this is, like, kind of personal, but, like, whatever. It's, like, I, like, live at my mom's and my dad's house. So I've never had, like, all my stuff in one place, like, ever. And so I think that, like, at college, I'm going to be, like, wow this is like my house like I live here and only here and I think like going to class I think I'll be fine like I don't know if I'll be because I'm I'm messy I'm a messy person and I don't know if I will be messy anymore in college yeah you, you know I, but I think that I I maybe I might be but like I think I'll be getting better at it and it's like I have like I don't know I think that I just have like this really bright outlook on it because it's gonna be like a brand new experience and something that I'm like I think ready for and mm-hmm. like capable of doing I, I truly think you girls will do fine, and this is why. Because everyone that's gone before you has done fine. It, it, it's a mm-hmm. transition. It's a very scary transition. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm scared. For a lot of reasons. I mean, you have, like, you obviously have Archie there, you know, yeah. like you mentioned your sister. It's one of those things that you don't fully appreciate or understand until you experience it for yourself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You have an idea about it, but then you get to experience it on yourself. And it is. It's a major life change. I mean, for the reasons I just said, as well as everything you said about mm-hmm. living on your own. Um, my general philosophy about life, though, is that each phase of your life should be better than the one that came before it, truthfully, because if it isn't, you're doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. Now, the transition can be hard, all right? And um, every year, there's always a certain number of kids that graduate that get in touch with me one way or another. 
and basically say, I can't cut it, I can't take it, da 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 da. And my message to them always is, get through your first semester. Mm -hmm. Get through your first semester. Because the first semester for most kids is pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Just because of the, the shock value, mm -hmm. right? You're being yeah. on your own. Like the responsibility is entirely on you. But if you get through that first semester, what you'll find is by the end of your freshman year, you're there. And if you're not, you did something wrong. Yeah. I think it's an adjust adjustment period. It is. Yeah. I'm like afraid that I'm gonna like end up hating my major and then I'm not gonna know what to do. Or I hope I don't you hate it. You'll switch your major. Yeah, but like I don't know what else I would want to do. I changed mine like God knows how many we, times. We can, we'll just go through every single one that Swanson did and then like, yeah. Yeah. But like if like communications doesn't work, I'll just like be like sad. I don't well, know here's the thing do. about communications though, honey. Uh, Com media is one of those disciplines where you can do a number of things. Yeah. Right? Like you can do this podcasting stuff. You can do the TV video film stuff that you did. Uh, you can do photography, but you can also do like public relations. You can mm -hmm. do event planning. You know what I mean? You can do like corporate imaging. Like there's, mm -hmm literally virtually a countless number of things that come me you i mean you could even swing it towards journalism and it's honestly it's not too far removed from english mm. which is and wild can, like, as fits try different things out that's like my i don't know I, I don't feel trapped with my like decision but it's like if i hate teaching which i don't think i will but like i kind of like like it's like it's very different like from like working in a lab with a biology degree versus like a classroom. A classroom. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And they're very different. And so, like with you, you can go anywhere with it. Yeah. And you'll be fine. You'll be, you want, I think that, I said this to Bretland a couple of times, like we should have like a, like a very low key like <laughs> podcast. podcast for like, I, like at being at IUP, like starting out, like just talking about like freshman struggles. I don't think that's a bad idea I at think all. it's a I great think idea. And I actually think that's something people listen to, not just at IUP, but... Mm -hmm anywhere like just saying like all right freshman Emma. struggles but i think that and you could like well you know what you're doing like you understand how like this stuff works and it's not going to be like high budget like we know what we're doing but <laughs> i think you can talking about this kind of stuff i think is something that people don't do openly like talk about high school like even high school struggles like people don't really talk about it until like it's brought up you know what i mean and like i think for college it's an even bigger transfer because you don't have like your support structure that you have at home you're, you're by yourself you're figuring it all out so i think it would be comforting to have like two random girls talking about how yeah like their freshman year is oh one thing you will have though ladies is everyone else that's going to be around you because freshmen are generally grouped with freshmen everyone else around you is going to be in the same boat as you yeah. yeah you know what i mean and you do form supports that way and that's when that's probably like the basis of what will end up being some of your strongest friendships is figuring out that first semester or so together. And uh, colleges, IUP and all colleges, do have things to help you. But that's what I mean when I say it's up to you mm -hmm. to seek that out. Yeah. No one's going to be coming to you and checking on you, so to speak, yeah. at least not in a meaningful way, not the way that it's done here. Yeah, that's like one of our, what was that, one of our like core values this year is like, like you have to stand up for yourself or like what I don't know what the word is but it's like standing up for yourself and like if you need help like with like if you like are getting a bad grade you can't just like be passive and be like all right be your own I'm advocate or yeah, something being, yeah, yeah be yeah. your own advocate for yourself and it's like I think that's like that's the epitome of college like if you don't have the people skills to like say to your professor like why did I get a bad grade like tell me why I did because it's not like they're gonna be like oh no like I'm just gonna brush you off like every cry. single time well I'll just keep asking I'll just cry Okay, well... That we can, probably won't fly, bro. Well, I think, <laughs> no, exactly, I think my like, goal is to not get a bad grade to where the point I have to talk to my professor. Oh, no, exactly. But it's so. like, I think that that's a learning curve. A lot of... Miss Kidder, I think, is one of my teachers that... I have her for AP English, and there's, like, eight of us. So a lot of our class time is, like, very personal, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, we just talk, and we, like, discuss a lot. And she brings up a lot about how college... She, like, was, like, thrown through a loop. Because she was like, I was, like, smart. And I am, like, she, like, it's not like she's not, but it's, like, she, you, you kind of get, like, not, knocked down a peg. Oh, my, yeah. You know, oh, and you, like, geez. think, like, you think that you're, like, really. That's going to be terrible But you, me. everyone's smart. Like, that's not, when I'm not saying that, like, oh, you feel dumb in college, but you get knocked down a peg. Like, you're, like, you get humbled because, yes. like, you would get A's and, like, easy A's and you would just, like, understand everything. And then in college, you get, like, a C and you're, like, why? Because you're not, like, on that level of, like, yeah, work cry. yet. 
I'll just cry. You'll be fine. One piece of advice I'll give you, too, and for anyone listening, <laughs> uh, that I also share with my seniors in general. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Every class you have, you should go in with one question and or one comment. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to be a brown noser. It doesn't fly with 99% of professors. Mm -hmm. um, but if you go into each class with one question or one comment, then that's a way for the professor, maybe they don't know you well, but they'll know they have you in class, mm -hmm. all right? And take advantage of their office hours like you need to go talk to them. If you do that, like I said, I am terrible at math. That's why I teach English. And I had to take a prop and stats course at one point. And God, that was not pretty for me. Mm -hmm. And I was in my professor's office at least once a week. Mm -hmm. But I also always had one question and one comment during the class, too. Yeah. And I got a C in that class. is one of the, I think, two, two times I got less than an A or a B in my entire college experience. Mm -hmm. I should have not gotten a C. Mm -hmm. It should have been a lot lower <laughs> than a C. But the reason why is because I took part in the class, not to an annoying mm -hmm. point, but when I went to her office, she recognized me. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, yeah, you asked about this. Or you commented on this or mm -hmm. something like that. And that actually does go a very, very long way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll cry. I'll just <laughs> cry. I think cry at home, not to your professor. Oh, yeah. I I know. I'm not going to cry. Yeah. I don't, it's like, a, it's a learning curve, it's an adjustment. I, I'm excited. Like, I get nervous, like, thinking, like, oh, my God, what if I do bad? But, like, I think that IUP is one of the very, like, because you look at a lot of schools your senior year, like, your end of your junior year, senior year, like, you look at a lot of schools, what they offer, the kind of, like, faculty, like, their, like, how much faculty to student ratio, like, all of these, like, topics. And you look at them all, I and I... Okay, well, I did. I, I guess I just like these kinds of, like, information. Good for you, Emma. Well, thank you. But you look at this stuff, and maybe not, like, the faculty to staff ratio, but sure. you look at, like, other things. And I think IUP is one of the schools that I looked at that, like, cares, I think. Like, I think that, I mean, they reduced their tuition by, like, 20%, which is awesome. Right. Yeah. But then it's also, like, they have so many amenities for students. Like, they have all these, like, large gathering place, like, I don't know, buildings to where you can have, like, clubs at. Or they have, like... like the Headley Union building and places like yeah, that. Yeah, like, they have, like, all of these buildings and they have all of these, like, things put in place to, like, help the students. Like, they're... Tr I think that they try to make college, like, not miserable. Just from, like, how they, you know, how they, like, present themselves. And, like, I haven't been there yet, so I don't know, but I'm, like, hopeful because the way that they present it, I feel like they want you to succeed and I think well to yeah I think you. that I think that's true I think that's ultimately probably true of any school I mean mm -hmm. I don't think any school wants to see you fail mm -mm. I do think you're right about IUP in that regard and keep them it's been 20 years since I was yeah. an undergrad <laughs> shut up really <laughs> but um, it's been 20 years since I was an undergrad and even back then there was very much that kind of feeling there and one thing I liked about IUP and I've always liked about IUP in particular is it's got like a big school feel mm -hmm. without being big school overwhelming yeah yeah and i think it walks that line mm -hmm. very well and as such it can provide the kind of thing you're talking to yeah. i had um I, the girl i dated off and on back in the day went to penn state and a lot of my friends went to penn state so i spent a lot of time at penn state and mm -hmm. penn state is a beautiful campus mm -hmm. and state college is a beautiful amazing town but i went to classes with them sometimes because mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. because there were literally like 800 kids yeah. you know in the yeah. auditorium like I think the biggest class I ever had at IEP was like 120 yeah and that and only happened your, a couple like, times yeah and that was one of my gen eds like the majority of my classes were probably 20 to 30 that like I love that like that's what I yeah I don't know like I need I think that like my learning like, my learning style is like I need to be like spoken to I don't know like I, I need to like Me see too. you and like meet you and like know your name and not just like see you as a little speck like at the front mm -hmm. of the room do you want to know something funny yeah you know how earlier or like a couple minutes ago you were like oh I did research yeah I like committed to IUP without visiting there like I was I know I, I visited it with you but for like the first I, time. I, I, I like been up there but like before I like went on a tour I committed to IUP on the second day of school just on a whim <laughs> and now we're here but it is that's actually not funny i probably should not have done that but well i mean <laughs> where but you didn't really have anywhere else that you wanted no. to go and you knew you needed to go to college for like what you wanted to be mm -hmm. and for com media yeah uh, I, I mean um yeah i i think that's one 
I think IUP is known for, I'm, I think it's a good school across the board. Of course, I'm a little biased. But I think that it's known in the Northeastern United States for comm media, education, criminology, nursing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like, I think that's probably its strongest yeah. programs. Okay. I will bet I'm on the right Safety track. Safety science. Yeah, yeah. everything. I, yeah, I think you're on the right track. I think that that's, like, so random, that, like, the school year. Like, oh, I'm going to go to the school. <laughs> and yeah, it's, I like, the one that works out. I was, like, I, yep, I was, like, I'm going to apply here. And then second day of school, I woke up, got the, I got the mail on the table, and I was, like, <gasps> accept, accept, accept. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Paid my $150. Here we are. And here we are. Getting that big bill. Mm -hmm. And she's gotten T-shirts that she's worn ever since. Oh, yeah. yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The merch, the IUP merch. But not today, because IUP. it's Top Gun it, Day. It's Top Gun Day. I had to wear it. IUP merch is... And one thing also, one ladies. Thing also. I am only 20 minutes out of campus, so if you ever end up in this pickle, call someone else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, are we excited for college? Uh, yeah, I've been terrified? excited. I just want to know what it's like. Like I'm, you hear it. Like I don't know. It's not. I bet you money. It's not like TV. Oh well, my god. No, yeah. I mean, it's like, <laughs> no, but it's like you see. That's like your only. If you don't have an older sibling, and if you don't have like a parent that went to college, like I don't know. Like my parents went to college, but they went to college like twenty years ago. So, so like, long, they, like, so old. Well, it's not, but it things it's change. It has. Building yeah. Building not even there anymore. I know. Yeah, and so it's terrible. like they don't know. Rest in, R. I. P. Turnbull Hall. <laughs> Rest in paradise. Rest in, mm -hmm. <laughs> Rest in paradise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but like I don't know. Like my whenever my, my sister went graduated um, in twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen. And she, like, was only at IUP for two years because she, well, she was at, like, their culinary track. So she did, like, Punxy for two years and then Indiana for two years. And, like, if she didn't go there, I would have no clue about, like, what it would even look like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so, like, I kind of went into it thinking, like, I do like it up there. Like, you know, it's not a terrible decision. And then whenever I chose, like, what I wanted to major in, it, like, just all kind of, like, fell in line. But if you don't have that kind of guidance, that's, like, scary. Truthfully, your campus is very different than mine. Really? Your your IEP is very different than my IEP. Aside from the Oak Grove, and the Oak Grove has even had some significant changes oh, to it. But aside from the Oak Grove, the squirrels. So yeah, the squirrels. <laughs> Everyone knows so the Oak Grove pretty. squirrels. Okay, so that didn't change. No, my God. <laughs> and uh, let me know if Crazy Preacher guy's still there on Thursdays. <laughs> oh. But um, Jesus freak, Jesus freak, Jesus freak. But again. Uh, no, nothing against that. Just this guy was crazy. <laughs> um, but no, the Oak uh, the Oak Grove is generally the same it's had certainly had some changes but um just some just some parting words of wisdom <laughs> for you two girls okay. i suppose take it or leave it i uh, uh, college isn't is entirely different from high school with but at the same time not entirely different from high school right the majority of your classes aren't going to be that bad all right um the majority of your classes aren't going to be that bad. The majority of your professors, like your teachers, aren't going to be that bad. Just like high school, you have some that are amazing, most that are good, and a couple that terrible, not so good, right? And your classes, most of them, you know, will be manageable. There'll be a couple that'll be, like, laughably easy, and there'll be a couple that'll, like, ruin your life the mm -hmm. semester that you have it. Cry. The difference Cry. about it is, like I said before, it's self discipline right uh, one of my best friends from high school incredibly smart he got into um, Penn State Maine for engineering which typically you don't get into Maine for engineering mm -hmm. even back then but he had no self-discipline mm -hmm. so he partied his way out of Penn State mm -hmm. then he sad. came to IEP and he partied his way out of IEP wow. he was one of my roommates senior year and by March he made us say we're ending our college careers because wow. he wasn't graduating and the rest of us were and the thing about it truly is self-discipline. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, um, IUP, like any other school, you know, there's a social aspect to it. Mm -hmm. You all can use your imaginations for that. And I do believe the social aspect is an important part. I mean, it's part of, like, your development as a person. But the difference is you have to put what matters first mm -hmm. i you think know, me and emma will be all right i think i think both of you ladies will be i fine think we'll keep yeah. each other on track yeah but you have a paper to do write the paper. you know the paper needs done you have a report to do do the report like you yeah. have to you have to 
because the social activities will be there later. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I think that that's like something different about, that's a big difference between like high school and college, I think, because in college, they're always, I feel like social things are always going on. Right. But in like high, high school, school, it's like, oh, you have a fear of missing out what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you have a fear of missing out because it happens like once in a blue moon. Like something will happen, you know? Like we have two big school things and then we have like little dances here and there, but those are like school things and like sometimes they're not that exciting to be a part of, but like college, there's always something going on. There, there's always, yeah, there's always going to be another yeah, whatever, game, yeah. party, like event. Like yeah. there will always be another mm -hmm. and I think that that's like something people really get real excited about and that's because you hear about people like this is this isn't mean but you Brentland and I have said this too where it's like we hear people are going to college and it's like insane that I think that they're going to college mm -hmm. you know what I mean like what and then you hear what they're majoring and you're like whoa okay and like good for you for trying like I'm like, you know what I mean and you know all power to you but some of them will surprise you but yeah. some of them will land exactly how you yeah, and think, I think, that, think they like, will land. Whenever like, you live for the weekends in high school and then like every day of college is like a new weekend because mm -hmm. there's something going on, that's going to be like very challenging for a lot of people. Good thing for Brentlin and I because yeah. we, I don't know. I, I just think that that's like, a, that's something I'm going to have to get used to, like being able to do something every day because there's nothing going on. In Armstrong every single day. Like Armstrong County. In Armstrong County. Like on the weekends there's like a gun bash or maybe <laughs> like a bingo. But we we don't go. To I don't those. go to the bingos. I'll go to like a like a garage sale. <laughs> those are fun. But like that's it. That's the extent. But But no, yeah. Self discipline ladies. That yep. that's that's the secret. That really is the secret. <gasps> you can do it. Now we've all the I believe in both of you. I hope so. Thank you. You're wow. gonna be fine. What if I like absolutely just? I like won't let you. Okay. Like that like is not gonna be an option. Yes. For and you. that's I a will... plus too, having someone that has your back. Mm -hmm. You having my back? <laughs> I, I got your back. What are you talking about? I got your back. Trey Tipton. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out Trey Tipton. Are you like alluding that I wouldn't have your back? No, I'm not alluding to that. I just think that like, I don't know. If I go off the course, you'll get me. And if you go off the course, I will manhandle you back into place. Well, no, because I have, like, I have a game plan. Good. I think we should go to the gym every day. Oh, my, no, most definitely. And that will if, keep us on track. Because then we'll just be tired after. Yeah, and then we <laughs> won't want to do anything. <laughs> yeah. But. Wow. Well. Also, IUP's amenities are gorgeous. Yeah. It, it, it's a beautiful campus. Gorgeous. It, it really is a beautiful campus. And with the exception, the exception of Westchester, it's like objectively speaking I think the mm -hmm. nicest in the state system genuinely let's yeah. go let's go IUP I yeah. think that I sometimes it gets a little bit like I think all all buildings get like aged you know what I mean mm -hmm. like in, interior design worth like you are know you talking I mean? about Armstrong High School right now I'm at, no I think Armstrong High School is not aged I don't think <laughs> wow. I think that like okay if you went to like Katanning right now <laughs> you'd walk in there and you'd be like whoa by the way quick side note fun story and then we do yeah we're out of time we'll have to wrap this oh, up yeah. sorry Brella. no it's all right but um when we first moved in this school right i was sorry, literally Bella. the only teacher in this building no. not to have a desk <laughs> i'm not joking i came in about a week before we were coming in mm -hmm. which is before kids were even coming in my computer is hooked up on the floor that's crazy no desk everyone else had because i checked uh, other every other room had a desk with a computer my computer is hooked up on the floor <laughs> i'm an english teacher and I go in, and my storage consisted of my coat closet <laughs> and those four little shelves connected to my oh heater. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So I went down to then Mr. Rummel, and he told me to go shopping at Catanning. So I went down to Catanning and got bookcase, you know, stuff that's out there now. But I'll never forget it. Um, I got two of my old bookcases, and I did remember that Mrs. Kidder actually had, like, a really nice mm -hmm. bookcase in the back of her room, and it was still there. So that's where the middle one is from there. Thank <laughs> you, Mrs. Kidder. But... <laughs> It looked like, and this is only like not even three months, right, mm -hmm. from beginning of summer to the end. It looked like someone took her desk and threw it across the room. That's crazy. Like, the place was trash. No, for like, real. honest to God, trash. For real. It's like. That is, whenever my, my sisters graduated from there, and whenever they, they would, like, tell me stories about, like, stuff like, 
breaking like as they're in school oh yeah like literally just like falling apart like oh. the water fountains like stopped working yeah. and like <laughs> I mean, yeah. like they i they had my sisters were like kind of bad but whatever it's like with like my mom's kids it like it skipped a generation so it's like my sister's terrible me okay randall bad terrible <laughs> like it's i'm the only like one that's like not getting in trouble but like megan and sydney would, oh sorry name drop but they like would be like yeah the water fountains were like breaking and like the ceiling was falling apart. yeah i wonder it was like uh, there's a new leak the last two yeah. years I, I remember there's a trash can uh, in the main Middle hallway <laughs> with the office catching water <laughs> that's what they they would like have all these stories and my mom was like oh you know and my sisters were there like the a year the Armstrong wasn't even like complete completed yet. Like they graduated, and then a full other class had to go through Katanning before mm-hmm. like Armstrong was open. And I like they like didn't have AC, oh my didn't God, no. have water, didn't <laughs> have stable foundation. I've been in Katanning one time, and mm-hmm. I'm like walking through, and I'm like, this is what everyone is missing. The, the reminiscing all the time. Mm-hmm. I hear Swanson talk about it, or the other teachers like, yay, Katanning. It was the atmosphere. Yay, it wasn't Katanning. the it wasn't the physical facility let's be honest i think it was more the atmosphere no genuinely i think that like having i I think that the school up here is very nice but i think it's like having like katanning's football field in town and having fort city's football field in town was something that i'm really thankful i had whenever i was like a little kid yeah because i could walk from my house to the football field pay two dollars and then mess around yeah. all evening at the around that stump, yeah that yeah around the stump around and everybody stump. would and everyone would take pictures and everyone would get a walking taco and we'd all like mess around like by and like watch the game and it was always like fun but i think whenever we moved up here like we it's lost like that, that a little bit but well, since, we're also grown up we're also grown yeah. up yeah like i'm not going to be hanging around the stump anymore but um, yeah the stump at a girl, Emma. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank well, you. however we got here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, there's certainly something lost when we came up here, but there's also a lot gained. Oh, you yeah, know, it, it's it's a it's a, a trade off. It's it's a trade off. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just happy the ceiling's not falling on me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, same. Not, I'm happy I have water most days. <laughs> most days, yeah. Most days. Although I did water. have a sewer line break oh, at the beginning wow, of the school great. year in I the know. wall. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> like, whoops, <laughs> right there. That was. Sorry, Luke. God, these are funny. That was terrible. I think that whenever we leave and I like look back on like. Like high school like all the crazy things that happened like with just the building like whenever we would like lose water and we had to like not come to school because we didn't have water for uh, like a that couple like days. two or three times yeah like yeah. Manorville yeah. or Manor whatever or whenever we like drive into school and the school like all we'll have a two hour delay and the roads will be like not bad and, and then, then, we'll the school, the then you get then you get to the school road and the school road's covered in like like slush ashes and, and yeah. slush mm-hmm. because Manor Township just sprinkles <laughs> ashes and everyone's like sliding <laughs> yeah. while they're trying to get into their parking spot or whenever like the snow plowers in the parking lot will just push it and then people <laughs> park in, in spots, spots yeah they like can't even park anymore because the snow's there but. see girls you are ready yeah you are you're ready you're yeah, ready you have wonderful ready. memories and you're ready to move on mm-hmm. yeah and then we can make some more no no more memories, no more memories. memories. No more it's, memories. Just, no. it's just it's just work college should be better than high school if it's I'm not excited. you're doing something wrong I'm excited to like get through like the beginning of like I'm excited to do college and like it's all in all of its like sincerity but it's like the steps that it's like bringing me up to like I can't mm-hmm. wait to like be an adult you want to like, be past job. the transition stage and yeah. I just want to like be yeah. in college kind of you know what I mean and like do it for a little bit and then like be an adult you know because yeah. it's like it's hard to do those transition stages of like struggling because it's like we're still I think I'm still in the struggle period of like scholarships and do I have enough money to pay for this and loans and what else am I going to do to like get to the point where I'm in college oh, I and then break I have it to, to continue you, honey, but you're struggling that. no matter where you are in life there's some kind of struggle just going on the struggle bus I guess <laughs> no, like while you're struggling over changes but there's always some kind of a struggle I want like minuscule struggles <laughs> I don't want big struggles <laughs> but I think that we're ready oh Brentland. there's something in my eye hold on it's a tear no. It is a tear. <laughs> Crocodile crying. tear. Yeah, okay. She's practicing for her professors. Mm-hmm. No. I'm not going to cry in front of my professors. That's embarrassing. I'm happy you in said that. In my dorm. But then I'm going to cry? In in front of your professors, that would I'm, be embarrassing. But in your dorm is great. Yeah. Great. No, I'm Just not call gonna... me up. I'll come down the hall. We'll have a good cry together. Well, you know, anytime I leave the classroom and head over to the control room, that's what I'm doing. I'm crying. I'm crying. Like, <laughs> I'd like be, there's cry. no shame, Bradley. Just, just <laughs> there's cry. No, shame. no, I'm not going to cry. 
All right. I think you need to wrap us up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Elise. Um, <laughs> I have, like, a presentation. Um, sorry, Mr. Elise. I will be there soon. <laughs> I am late. So, uh, wow, this is the final episode. Okay. Rest in Paradise, Hawkscast. Hawks. Hawkcast. No, there is an S. We're, there's multiple down. hawks here right now. Yeah. You're also a hawk. A I, river hawk oh, turning yeah. into a hawk. A Bretland. crimson hawk. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Hawks, oh. Turn, hawks to hawks. Hawks to hawks. Hawks wow. to hawks. Wow. That's beautiful. That's, That's a full circle. I literally ending. said that to the that beginning is. of the year. Yeah, but that <laughs> was a full circle moment. River hawk circle. to crimson hawk. That's that's beautiful. Hashtag. Hashtag. Hawks to hawks. Hawks to hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below if you think it's hawks. <laughs> cast with an S. Or no S. Hawk cast. Hawk cast. Terrible. It is not hawk cast. There's it, multiple hawks at this hawks. table. So why would it just be you a single You are a river hawk. hawk I am a river hawk. She is a river hawk. We are river hawks. We are and river hawks. We, we are river hawk. One day no, we, we, <laughs> we will You were a crimson one day hawk. Be Actually, crimson no, I wasn't. I was an Indian. Hawks. I was an Indian. IEP was still the Indians back in the day. Okay, but like, we'll and, then the, that. <laughs> and then the bears, and then the bears. Why the did I not know? Why that? was it never the squirrels? I, it should have been. That, the that's the one that made the most the sense. The mighty squirrels. No, I, I P was the Indians, and then when um, all of that kind of societal change started to come through, I graduated undergrad as an Indian. I got my master's as a bear, and to get that transition, the bear's name was Cherokee Bear. <laughs> Which was somehow better <laughs> than being the Indians. So we adopted a bear. His name was Cherokee Bear. And then they became the River Hawks after I was, the River Hawks, the, the Crimson Hawks after I was all the way done. Wow, I did not know that. I always thought they the were the Cherokee Hawks. No, bear. Indians, bears, and Hawks. Indians, Cherokee Bear. Cherokee Bear. Yeah, the bears, but the mascot's name was Cherokee. Bears. Cherokee Bear. Da Bear. Da bear. Cherokee Bear. Da Cherokee Bear. Yeah, Da <laughs> Cherokee Bear. Okay. Right. Well. You I two are going to do fine. I hope so. Thanks. As a hawk to a hawk. Hawks you know. to hawks. Yeah. Ashes to ashes. Pride to pride. Pride to pride. <laughs> Rest in paradise. Rest in paradise. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I guess this is the goodbye for... I think you this should just terminate forever. the podcast forever so I can be the last one. Forever. No, Luke has to do a podcast. Uh, nope. <gasps> then you better name it something else. Oh, Maybe he'll call it the Hawks cast. Oh... I was called Ashes to Ashes. <laughs> <laughs> he burned his bridge. <laughs> okay, well, this is goodbye forever. Bye forever. Signing Same off. here. <laughs> Signing off as your humble hostess, Bretland Johns. Okay, bye. <laughs>